Hello everyone! Today, we have to cut the mattress for our bed. There it is. Bird Snake was going to brace this so that stuff doesn't slide out from under here when we put our big old storage bins in here. Hey everybody, we are cutting eight inches off of a mattress so that it can fit in our camper van. The first thing we did was we unzipped the bottom of the mattress. You see this, this mattress has one of these nice zip off tops. Side note, those zip off tops are not made like that so that you can wash your mattress. That's a huge misconception. Um, they're made like that so that they can be manufactured easily without specific taping in the sewing. When they do the fancy edges around the mattresses, it's called taping, and it's the hardest job in a mattress factory. So these beautiful zip-off tops make it possible for machines to do most of the work. The next thing is the fire sock. This is the fire barrier. We just cut this thing, and that, that exposes the foam. We have memory foam here, and then we have just a high density foam here for support. There's, there's also a quilting with gel sewn into it, but that memory foam over the support foam, that's the standard that's basically in every memory foam mattress. So what I'm gonna do now is measure and mark it, and then we're gonna cut it. I borrowed my mom's electric knife. So we're gonna use the electric knife method. We watched a lot of videos. People seem to like the electric knife, so that's what we're doing. This mattress is a, an M. Lily Calm. M. Lilly is a really great little ma mattress manufacturer. Um, they are Serta Pure, which means that they use all natural materials. Sometimes when I'm cooking, I'll open up the oven and then my mascara will melt onto the tops of my eyelids here. And there'll be little dots that go all the way across. A project to recover these chairs is something that's on my to-do list. Would you guys like to see some do-it-yourself projects like that? Like recovering chairs and things? I've done it before with my mom. Um, it's not its not really very difficult. The hardest part is finding a fabric that you like. And that's not that hard. There's plenty of good fabric stores in our area. Now this is like some serious power tools here, guys. Oh my goodness. So the electric knife's working great. Because the mattress is not like real thin, we're gonna make two cuts, just so I'm not compressing it. It's hot in there. You know what did they say? What did they say? Uh, it's from the, the blades. So I just got done with this, the first cut. Now I'm gonna do the second cut. Some people recommend you compress the foam before you cut it, but my experience with cutting memory foam with scissors, just playing around at work, is that if you compress it, then when it re-expands, it's not in the shape you wanted it to be. Yeah, nice job. It's really good and straight. We can make a Minecraft bazooka with this. Look at that big chunk of foam. Space Irish technology of memory foam. I want to cut it in half and sew it into a dog bed. A dog bed? It's a man pillow. Now we're going to kind of put the fire sock over it again and zip it back up and just fold the end down. We were going to like custom sew it, but I don't think we're going to do that. We're just going to fold the end down and it's going to go great in our van. This goes on right here. And it's not a YKK zipper, it's an HK zipper. It's not a YKK zipper, it's a HK zipper, so it won't hit you like a lizard when you're slithered. What? What does that mean, guys? What does that mean? <laughs> if, if I don't know what it means, I'm sure you guys don't know what it means. YKK on your zipper, lick you like a lizard when I'm slithered. And you went for a high five. 
It's hot in here, but it feels so good on this mattress. It's soft and sinking in just right. It's gonna be really comfortable camping. Now, I've got my modern day gypsy wagon ready to go. My custom bed made by the best man in the world. Sorry other guys, I'm so impressed. So cool. Jazzy's freaking out because she wants to go on a walk. And I took her down the street and back because we're not going on a walk, we're gonna go in the car. So we're just gonna take the dogs out for a little drive, find some more, let them use the restroom, then drive back. We don't normally take the dogs on drives very often. I want them to get used to it before we have a long road trip. So we're gonna ramp up to the full road trip. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, 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 ready. Amanda is SpongeBob. Get in. Get in the car. Good girl. There we go. So we're here in the van, and uh, we got a mattress protector on the mattress. Now I feel okay letting Jazzy get up there. She seemed to really like it. Now we're gonna go to Walmart for a dog brush because we can't find Jazzy's dog brush. I'm sw I'm sweaty just from taking the dog for a walk. Even at night right now, it's in the high 90s. Cruising in the land world. Well. The dog has discovered the window. So I'm, I'm out here, I'm, I'm in the parking lot with the dogs. Amanda's in Walmart. Went to get a dog brush for Jazzy because she's shedding and we somehow lost her dog brush. I know the last time I rearranged, I saw it, but we can't find it anywhere. So it was interesting to see the dogs watch Amanda walk away from the van. They don't, they don't know what to think. I'm gonna try to show Noodles the bed and the back window. <laughs> That's about what I imagine Jazzy doing. Today, I took out my hair and tried to have the biggest, messiest bun I could make. And it's pretty big and messy. Jazzy's back there just laying down looking like a real happy fan dog. It's really cute. Say hello it's like to the universe. Say hello it's to the universe. Walmart in here. Say hello to the vlog from Walmart. Hello, everyone.